breadth from the perspective of uh, the number of industries and companies within those industries that will be impacted. So, for instance, if you're in an industry like real estate, telecommunications, software, uh, construction, all of those industries have a specialized revenue recognition model and all of those companies will probably be impacted by the new revenue recognition model. Depth from the, the, the perspective of the actual company that has to do it because while it sounds like it's just top line, there are many things that are driven based on that top line. So for instance, uh, compensation models for salespeople, um, how contracts are written are written a specific way quite often to get a specific type of revenue recognition. Um, taxes, how you pay taxes on what the money you earn and the cash that you generate. Um, and then there are a lot of new disclosure requirements that are going to be put into play. And so um, there may be information that hasn't previously been captured that needs to be captured going forward. And so IT infrastructure and processes around the revenue recognition model that exists today might have to be amended um, to capture that information. And probably the third, and, and it's somewhat, somewhat depth but ancillary, is the fact that um, it sounds like 2016 or 2017 is a long way away, but the truth of the matter is private companies often do comparative financial statements, so really 2015 you're going to have to start capturing that data to have it, to, to use it in 2016. And so starting now is important because you got to have A, the infrastructure, and, and B, the process to, to be able to provide that disclosure that's going to be required in the, under the new rules.